some days I will get beat up. Some days I will get knocked down and I will have some bad days. But I will not stop. You're rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Success is a very lonely road There are very few people who are willing to go through the pain The hardship, the sacrifices The agony of the process In order to succeed it's these moments when you feel the urge to quit, you feel the urge to say to yourself, it can't be done. I don't think I can make it. I don't think I have what it takes. This is the point where everything's gonna go south on you and you're gonna think this is it for you. This is how I end. This is the end of my journey. Now you have a choice. You can accept that or you can decide I will not be denied. This will not be it for my life. At some point or another, you gotta make a stand. If you're gonna change, if you're gonna improve your life, if you're gonna improve your situation, you gotta make a declaration that I will not be stopped. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. And one way or another, I will win. Instead of backing down, instead of giving into the struggle, you push yourself forward into the unknown. You have got to proactively prepare to catch yourself. When you find yourself getting negative with people that you have allowed to push your buttons, when you find yourself becoming negative about what's happening to you and the circumstances that you're involved in, you reinforce your mind with positivity, telling yourself everything is okay. I'm going to get through this. This is not the end. This is only the beginning for me. It's crucial to always be on the lookout for those moments when external factors threaten to sway our inner balance. You've got to be your own biggest supporter. Stop letting outsiders get in your head. You've got to pump yourself up. Remind yourself of all the sh you've been through before. And these things you're facing now, they're nothing. This isn't your first dogfight, and it won't be your last. Everybody hits that wall at one moment or another. That wall shocks most people. That wall knocks the life out of most people. That wall is painful. But the thing that separates the average people and the people who win is how they respond to that wall. Most people choose to give in. They can't handle the sting of being hit, so they fold. But there are some rare individuals who decide, I will not give up. I will not give in. And I will succeed. I will not allow the pain to beat me. These are the people who know there is no gain without pain. There is no testimony without a trial. It is meant to be hard. That rough process is necessary in order to produce the great things in your life. You have not seen the best days of your life yet. The greatest is still yet to come. And you must keep pushing yourself to move forward even when it hurts. Even when your legs want to give out and you're crying yourself to sleep at night and everything is fighting against you, you must keep fighting. When it feels like the entire world is against you, I need you to reinforce your self-belief and muster yourself up, telling yourself in the mirror, you can do this, you can handle this. This challenge isn't bigger than you. You can get through this. And when you get through this, you're gonna be bigger, you're gonna be better, you're gonna be bolder because you fought your way through it. It's only here to make you stronger. But you have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. If you expect bad things to happen, that's what's going to happen. But if you expect the best, that's exactly the direction you'll head. Your belief is what dictates the direction you steer your life. So you have to be consciously aware of the thoughts going on in your mind, focusing only on allowing positive, productive ideas to be dwelled on in your head. This is how winners are made. They don't allow the idea of losing to sink into their brain. They reject any thought of failure, of loss, of decline. They focus only on making improvement. They focus only on the strategies and opportunities to make their lives and other people's lives better. No guts, no glory. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Willing to face defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, no matter what it takes, I will win.
It takes guts. You got to dig down deep and gut it out. Keep on going again and again and again until you make it happen. Because you know that it's possible. Your self-belief must outweigh others' disbelief. Your belief must be so strong that you block out the noise of everyone around you. And all you hear is your internal dialogue telling you, I can do this. I will do this. I must do this. And no matter what it takes, with every fiber of my being, I am going to win. If you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it. You can be it. You can do it. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. Take that leap of faith. Trust yourself and believe and know within yourself that everything is going to be all right. If you've got that drive, that inner fire, then there's nothing stopping you. You can have whatever you set your mind to. Be what you dream to be. Do what you've always wanted. It all starts with you, your motivation, your discipline. Harness that and the world is yours. Keep dreaming. Keep looking at your dream. Keep focusing on your dream. Keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. The people that are running after their dream, they know they're going to have hard times, but they keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I am the one and I will win. When you're working on a business or in life, things will always go wrong. That's the human condition. Look, we've all been quitters, everyone. Nobody's journey is seamless or smooth. We all stumble, we all have setbacks. The question is not if some of these things will happen to you, they will. The question is, what do we do next? You've got to have resiliency. If I don't quit, I can't fail. If I just simply don't quit, I cannot fail. Hold fast. Don't, I know you want to give up. I know you want to quit. I know you're tired, but hold fast. Some days, of course, I'll get tired. Some days I will get beat up. Some days I will get knocked down and I will have some bad days. But I will not stop. This is an everyday gig. Every day is a Monday. And you might not like that. Me, I love it. To me, every day is a beginning. A new day, a new week, a new shot at life. An opportunity to come out of the gate like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy. Today, I'm putting the pressure on. I am the aggressor. I am on the attack. You don't get this far. You don't get to this point and just stop. Most people spend their life not wanting to deal with the pain of rejection, the pain of defeat, the pain of being disappointed, the pain of losing, the pain of failure, the pain of being criticized, the pain of not being liked, the pain, the pain, the pain. That's called life. Now, will it be turbulent? Yes. Will it be easy? No. Will you have some opposition? Yes. Will I make a lot of mistakes? Yes. Will I get hurt? Yes. But guess what? There's no gain without pain. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances, because the circumstances won't determine who you are. The possibilities for you are unlimited. If you're in a rebuilding process, it's unlimited. If you're coming back from adversity and devastation, it's unlimited of what you can do. Doesn't matter how many mistakes you've made. Doesn't matter how many flops you've had. I see it only as an investment of what you learn from life, of what's possible for you. Struggle, pain, misery, frustration, those are signs that you are on the right path. Nobody that is where you want to be has gotten there without these struggles, without the pain. And if you want to be something great, you are going to have to learn to accept the struggle as part of the recipe. Every single day, you need to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I willing to do to get what I want? And if the answer is whatever the f I have to, you'll get there in time. It's necessary you take responsibility for it, that you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. See, as long as you breathe, then you got a shot at your dream. And here's something you've got to resolve. Not over till I get through. 
Not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. Don't get over today. Look out. I'm going to come back and take the hinges off. That's how you got to do that. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. We can point out many things that can make it inconvenient or can slow us down. But ultimately, it's you. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger.